one of the hardest thing to do. You hear people saying, you should just do you, do your own thing, and you will get really far because, after all, we're unique and special. Nobody really understands us more than us, right? When we were little, we were carefree and did the things that we desired. We just did it. Whatever came into our mind, we were not hesitant because, well, we were kids. We didn't have any responsibilities. It's something special. As we grow older, slowly but surely, something creeps into our life that would hinder us doing what we love or that we feel like doing. We can't because it is not right. How do we differentiate between what is right and what is wrong? Sorry, George. So anyway, what should we do today? How about we go outside? I'm not sure. Uh, or we could go outside, George. Well, at first, we have guidelines from our parents. They know better than us, thank God. We somehow relied on their decisions and knew that it was best for us. We started to care what they think about us. We didn't want to disappoint them because they have worked so hard for you and you know that they love you. You didn't realize it, but your life was indirectly in their hands? <laughs> then we approach another phase of our life where we are put into a social environment. The first time we truly encounter, quote unquote, peer pressure. Who on earth wants to look bad? If others are doing it this way, I shouldn't be doing it the other way. Am I crazy? We want to fit in and be normal. We don't want to embarrass ourselves. We start to hide our true intentions and don't express ourselves honestly. Some of us become arrogant, fake, someone else completely, just to avoid sentences like, why would you do something like that? You're weird. We care what they think about us. The time has finally come where you and I, we have to decide what to do with our life. What should we do? What career? What are we good at? And well, for some it takes shorter and for some longer, like me but when we do know what we want to do we don't dare go for it because we care too much of what others think of us yeah <laughs> we want to be accepted right first by realizing the pattern you care what people think of you not because you're weak not because you're strange or weird, because everyone is beautiful in their own way, but because it is a habit. You know that we are creatures of habit. This started very early on in your life and it carried out for at least 10 years. You didn't do What? <laughs> you didn't film? <laughs> I did. Ah, oh, sick. <laughs> I'm not blaming your parents here because they really do mean well. They care about you and you should be grateful for that. But there comes a time in your life where you have to live your life and it might go against their views or opinions or beliefs. I'm not saying that it's only your parents, but it started there and spread out to other areas like the culture, your friends, etc might not even have been your parents because they were supportive but you get the point right do you sounds so wrong doesn't it or i just have a perverted mind sometimes when doing so when i do myself when doing so it's going to feel really uncomfortable and that leads me to my second point you have to get out of your comfort zone and by the way, I'm telling this to myself too because this is so damn hard. So we have to do this, you know, um, together. Preferably, that's the word for it. Preferably, preferably once a week or actually every day. But let's start small. Let's do it with once a week. If it's too hard for you to do, then find a friend who's comfortable doing it and let 
him or her guide you. Third, realize another pattern. That's right, a pattern within a pattern. Oh my God, which is the pitfall. And there are two phases. First one at the beginning and the other in the middle after having done it for some time. In my dictionary, feeling like complete crap or unmotivated as hell. I think when it happens at the beginning, you know the reason for that. You're scared, you're doubtful, you name it. That's why it's so important to have a friend who keeps you accountable. And if that friend doesn't keep himself accountable or... The second time it might happen is after having done it for some time and it gets comfortable. You think to yourself, hey, I'm good at this. I am not nervous anymore. Let's just take a break. Taking a break is not a bad thing. It is even healthy for you done correctly. But if the duration of it is too long that it gets difficult continuing, then yeah, that's a bad thing. This happened to me. So, hey, like I said, I'm doing it with you. Four, repeat it until it becomes a habit. They say that it takes around, oh, wait, what am I doing? They say that it takes around 66 days to form a new habit, but again, it varies from activity to activity, cha-cha-cha. And there's a great book on this, by the way, called The Atomic Habits. The reason why I have to pronounce it that way is because I said atomic habits around 50 times. I have no idea why. It's linked in the description. And last but not least, love yourself. Not in an arrogant way, okay? Not like, oh, you know, I'm the best, you suck, I rule. No, just love yourself in a healthy way. You know, where your love becomes so strong that all of these things will become so much easier to do. Believe me, I know. It's definitely something that is holding us back from becoming our best self. I mean, thoughts are so powerful. And when your thought says, no, it's not possible, you believe it. I mean, who says that is true? You, right? But I understand that because I have been living with uh, negative thoughts for a long, long, very long time. You really need to recognize this and the best way to do it, in my opinion, there are many ways, by the way, but one of them is by meditating. And I also have a video on how to meditate properly. The more you do it, the more you become aware of your uh, ridiculous thoughts. <laughs> so let's become our best self and well, do what we want and turn our dream into reality, which I'm still doing, by the way. God, it takes so long. Well, maybe you can share with me your thoughts on this. I would love to hear your perspective, as always. And if you found this helpful, please like it because it's telling YouTube, hey, this video was not bad, let's share it. If you're new here or not, and you want to follow along my journey, how I mastered the mind to become my best self, with the cringy humor you know you're subscribing to me so i just said it and hit the notification bell remember to be visionary patient and always be grateful for what you have because you are freaking awesome thank you